All right, so in the last video, I showed you how you can use Xdata to supply the variables and the methods, et cetera, for your application. Uh, but I pointed out that that by itself won't actually do anything. Uh, you can see the code here. You can see there's nothing showing up. So how do we start rendering data? Well, we have two ways of doing that. One will render text and one will render HTML. So if I go into my HTML and I'm going to drop in a little bit of text, basically a span, and I'm going to use a new x dash text attribute to specify uh, that my name is, and I forgot to type that in, so I will do so like that. There you go. My first name is, and what I've done here, again, is specified x dash text as the attribute to the span tag. It's empty in HTML, but Alpine is going to see that and it's going to supply the variable for first name. And if I change the variable, we will see it update in the HTML. So I can keep doing this. So for example, let's go ahead and add my last name and we'll go ahead and fix that. So it's uppercase as well, and we'll see it show up. Uh, now I can also supply that to more things than just span. So for example, how about a paragraph tag? In this case, I'm calling that method full name that I created. So pretty simple, but let's look at one more example. I'm going to add a new method and I am going to call it bio. And I'm going to try to format this a little bit nicer. There we go. So what bio does is return a string and it has a bit of HTML in it. So in this case, it's using full name. It's also using my age and you see age is wrapped and strong tags. So if I go into my HTML and use Xtext, it's going to work, except the HTML is going to be escaped. Now, this is done for security reasons. I told Alpine that, hey, I'm rendering text here and the value is bio. When the text came back with HTML tags, they were escaped. So when you know that you want to work with HTML, you go in there and you change that x dash text to x dash HTML, and that's all it takes. So for rendering simple variables and, and calling methods, you could see that I've used the x text attribute and x HTML, and that's all there is to it.